up to Atlanta and mail. Come up and work and I do him thing. You understand for six months and he meet a pretty ass chromas girl, a nice chromas girl, whatever man. You know the dream girl, big ass, big boobs, whatever it is. You understand? Cute face. And um he may end up leaving girlfriend in Jamaica and run off over here with that girl. When he run off with a girl, they may end up pursue a relationship until they get married. Right? And during the marriage, my child gets her pregnant, but she's not getting pregnant. The girl got sick and he took the girl to a doctor. When he took the girl to the doctor, the doctor checked her out and everything. And he went there and asked the doctor to, you know, I don't know what's wrong, but I'm trying to get her pregnant and she's not getting pregnant. So if you can, you know, check out that also. And the doctor looked at him and laughed and said, she didn't tell you. And then bring him back to the room with the woman. I said to him, say, are you going to tell him or should I tell him? Because this lady was born a man. You understand? But he didn't, she didn't, well, he didn't, she didn't, she didn't tell her current husband that she was born a man. Anyways, um, it brought me back to when I was with my high, my college sweetheart, right? Well, from high school to college, sweetheart, right? And him have, him cousin in England, and him tell me, say, cousin in England, gay, and him come down, come, him want to meet me, and him want to hang out with you for the weekend. I said, sure, cool. My talk to this cousin, this cousin is a very, very nice person. I have nothing, first of first, I'm mean, clear record, I have nothing against anybody of the different sexual preferences or orientation, because I like, my gay friends are really nice. Anyways, I'm just telling a story. So anyways, um, him come down and him nice me, I tell you, very, very nice. We, as we meet each other, we two are like, you know, peanut in a one part or whatever it is. So anyways, um, him say, we are going to start River Clarinda, and so he going to pick, bring her to a house to pick up some clothes for the weekend. We say, sure. So we go pick my house to collect some clothes, and then him say I pick up him boyfriend. So when him go, we just go tropical plaza, a halfway tree to pick up him boyfriend. No, him text the person and say, um, I'm here. So when me I look around now, we see which part the boy I come from, I see which you know, cute, nice, you know. I'm a look, I see a guy with a girlfriend, and he's kissing the girl, hugging on the girl. You know, they're saying their goodbyes and his passionate goodbyes, and then him give her some money and tell her say, babe, me see you tomorrow. And kiss her and say, love you. When my little boy walk towards the car and come out of the car. So I'm shocked. So I say, but now he's over there with his girlfriend. So how him come out of the car now he will come for? Only if I know, say, he's still in the closet. His girlfriend no know, but the guy is aware that he's still in the closet. Right? So because I was confused, I've asked him, like one away, say, but him have a girlfriend, you know, you she you. And I must say, well, it's complicated because he's still in the closet. So that he's just his cover up, but him really gay. As me I say, it's not fear. When you know you prefer something else, if you're confused, stay to yourself until you figure it out. It's not fear for you to lie and deceive somebody else. You understand? Just be honest. Cause it, think about it. Be honest, man.